What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of one of the last wars for Invicta. Uh, this was an arranged matchup actually against um, the back road uh, member of the uh, Moral War family. Uh, not sure if it's, uh, I think it's the same idea, right? You know, sort of like an arranged war training clan for Moral Thieves. Uh, now, the idea here was Invicta was supposed to match Back Road, and then 2.0 at the same time was supposed to match uh, Immoral Thieves. Unfortunately, we did not land that matchup over in 2.0, but oh well is what it is. So, uh, great war here nonetheless. Top over 82 to 80 for the back road. So congrats, guys. Really good job over there. Some solid base designs. Uh, really threw our nines for some serious struggles this war. We did not put on one of our best performances by any means. Uh, had to use a lot of bullies and then still left um, at least three, I want to say. Yep, three on the board. So uh, sucks for us, but is what it is. Uh, guys did their best, that's for sure. Just uh, need to get back on track with the planning and organization uh, of the groups and so on. Uh, weird, I had my nine in this war actually, just to fill some weight, I think me and Days were in this war, um, but really good job by the back row, you know, cleaned it all up, or did I see one that got missed there, yeah, sorry, one got missed, <coughs> so, I mean, Invicta was in position if they had just kind of got it together down low uh, to win this war, but unfortunately uh, did not pan out that way, but have a lot of replays in here I want to show anyhow, uh, mostly here at the Town Hall Online level. Starting with Heartless going in on their number 29. So really cool use. I like this attack. It's really cool use of the Baby Dragons. First uses them to uh, create his funnel. Um, get a good sizable amount of buildings killed and out of the way over here. Now the idea behind this is that he does not bring any sort of golem or anything. Um, so he just wants to drop in every Valk he has right on this one spot. Let him chew through this wall. It does lose, have a few go this way, but the funnel's so big, they go back in. So it doesn't really matter. Jump spell goes down. Valk's moving in, triggering bombs, all that jazz. Got to get that heal spell down when that golem comes out. I was a little scared. I was watching this raid live, actually, now that I remember. And I was a little scared at this point. Because see all the Valks, how much damage they took from that exploding golem? They were not standing in that heal, but then they walk right up into this one. Uh, does lose one, I think, when that bomb goes off. But most of them get healed right back up. Poison spell goes down. Slow down that queen. Now got the baby dragons moving in around the base. Thought this was the cool part of this raid. Was also, not only did he use three baby dragons for the funnel, but uses them so like he knows all the air defense are down based on all these valks moving through the base so he uses them um in just all parts around the base to start the cleanup and start helping take care of the uh kind of straggling defenses in the outside here instead of using hogs uh so that's just an idea guys if um instead of hogs if you're really concerned about not getting the bombs or will your hogs survive baby dragons right they you got to remember that it's, it's the cost of two hogs here for one dragon but if there's no air defense if, I mean, yeah, there's another th threat you have to worry about is black mines, but sometimes they're going to be safer, is my point, than hogs. So just an idea, right? That's 90 troop space. Um, so just, just when you're planning your attacks, it is a possibility to use them on the cleanup. As long as you get those air defense down, I think they will be really, really valuable. <clears throat> 26, Val, hitting this like a boss. Actually, was helping Val plan this one as well. Um... You had this little drag swap going on down here now. I was concerned because there's so many high hit points. I didn't use a lot of drag swaps, but I guess he's been practicing. He assured me that it absolutely would have no problems getting to that queen. And you're going to find out how it works out. So top section, just uh, getting the funneling work laid down here. It's that giant doing some tanking, the wizard in there, the minion in there. Just starting to get that nice wide open space now for the Valkyries. I think he goes ahead and starts the drag swap first. I don't remember I watched all these last night. Then got too tired to actually do the recap. <laughs> yeah, so here comes the drag swap. He always does this. Poison down first, loon in next. The reason for the balloon is if there's a black mine in there, wants the balloon to eat it, not the dragon. But see, even just one dragon immediately locks onto that queen. So really good job um, on that read there, Val. Now he's free to go ahead and send in the Valkyries here from the 10 o'clock. Wall breakers are in, opening that up. And in goes everything nice and easy. He's going to get that jump spell down. Now, we're talking about this, too. Look at that perfect jump placement. See, he did not want to connect the side compartments. He wants them going through this one and only compartment leading into this section of base. So, poison goes down. Minion's doing a lot of damage there, but they're getting poisoned. So, that uh, that um, really slowed them down. But 
did lose a few Valkyries in the process. It was a touch late on that heal, but no big deal. Still has about four or five, I think, at least in there. There's King's in there, full health still, the ability unspent. Queen starts taking a hike around the base, but it actually ends up working out fine. Hogs start coming in from two, just taking out those outer defenses. Just boom, 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 boom. Gets a cleanup whiz down nice and early. And things are looking good from this point. Just needs to get through the uh, Teslas there and jump onto that Expo. Queen's going to step up and start working on it right now. Beautiful. Down it goes. Down goes the Archer Tower. A couple crap buildings up there, but no matter. Tree Stars in the bag for Val. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> the Stray Bomb. Doesn't matter. Good job, buddy. And moving up the chains. Well, we got 20 going in on the question mark base. Good old Apple. It's like, hmm, buy an Apple and you can read my emojis. Sorry, Apple. Ain't going to happen. <clears throat> Anyhow, nice wide funnel. Lots of wizards here, right? Six wizards all on the outside just getting the funnel down instantly. All the buildings go down. Wall breakers are now in. Opening that jazz up. Golems are going to reroute here in a moment. Right into there. Double giant bomb in the outer compartment. I'm not a fan of that, guys. That just is not protected enough because a kill squad like this can quite easily trigger it. Get that CC pulled out. And really all you got to worry about is the queen. Um, something I thought was interesting was these hogs here. You should have known they were in the queen range. Gets the poison down a little bit late, but she, the damage is pretty... I guess he does take the arch tower down. That, that was the point. He didn't want... He did not want the Valks going to that Archer Tower if it was up because then they might have tried to break out the wall and go outside. Instead, they go back up and into the base. Everything's now in that core. Queen's work. As soon as that clan castle go down, it goes down. Queen's going to start working on the Teslas with those hogs. Perfect heal spell placement. Just getting all those hoggies healed right up. They're going to move on over that mortar. Has a few kind of reinforcing at the 3 o'clock compartment now. Just has to work through this compartment onto that Expo and the Arch Tower. And this base is done for. Beautiful. Zeus, you've just been killing it lately, man. Nice job. Very sexy, my friend. A lot of trash buildings. Good old good old builder's hut hiding behind the statue. Just so tricky, eh, eh buddy? Not enough for those hogs. Beautiful. That's tree in the bag. All right. 19. Patino. Another guy's just killing it. They... Pit just got a promotion actually to co-leader of Invicta. So awesome, Pit. You well deserve it. You do enough for us as is. It's probably a long time overdue anyway. So uh, Baby Dragon, again, creating that funnel, right? If you have a high hit point building you need to worry about and there's an Arch Tower in range, well, guess what? A Baby Dragon is going to take care of that stores before even a Wiz Tower and an Arch Tower can take it down. <clears throat> Anyhow, so Queen's going to end up stepping up here, taking out this defensive Queen. I believe he wall breaks in here. Um, the whole reason he wanted to funnel this off is because he wanted the Queen to walk into this section and just start, just basically gut these whole sections, right? Obviously, this huge, huge, exaggerated open alleyway. I, when I first look at this base, usually you put the Queen Chamber up there. So at least there's a super valuable target. If you look at this, there's two point defense, an air defense, yeah, the Expo, I guess. You got to think there's something fishy in there. You got to think there's probably a Tesla or two and the king, but that's not a difficult compartment necessarily by any means to take care of. So what uh, Patino does here is like, okay, little queen walk. I'm going to take care of the queen, wreck this whole section of base, pull out that CC. Now phase two is going to commence into this insane value of a kill squad entry uh, entry here. Look at this. Three cannons, two archer towers, an expo, all just bang, bang, bang right away. Well, let's just send a bunch of Valks in under that, and they are going to absolutely shred that compartment. Jump spell goes down, letting everything in and across. Look how fast this stuff goes down. Heal spell goes down. Nothing is going to die in there. Boom, boom, boom. Five point defense are down within seconds. Sends a few reinforcement hogs in here. Just got to deal with that arch tower at six as well. <clears throat> Valkyrie's moving through this stuff like nothing. And like I said, kind of everything's going to now meet up in this core section. Ends up losing the hogs, but no big deal. Doesn't need them. Still has three hogs. Now, so there was three Teslas up in that little king compartment, like I said. But it's really not a big threat. There's no walls. Like, there's nothing. Once you're into that compartment, it's dead. So all the Valks are now making their way up. Drops a heal spell. Now the Valks are in there doing tanking. Let's just drop some hogs on the back end. Not even a room for a spring trap in there. Maybe one, I think, in between these two, two Teslas. 
Uh, yep, but only lo oh, loses a hog and a Valk there, so they upgraded Spring Trap. Two more hogs go, but there's just too much, too much taking care of this compartment to, for uh, for it to do anything whatsoever. <laughs> a few more trash buildings and a tree stars in the bag for Pit. Nice job, buddy. Oops, <laughs> I have to uh, edit that or not. That'll be my little uh, little surprise for you. Another sip of recap juice. Obviously, I need it. Let's check out Paragon Hunter going in on this very uh, sort of strange base. Um, especially now that you have the move all option. That, to me, makes it seem like he was doing this on purpose. But what I don't like is if you're going to put a golem in the CC, you cannot make it lureable by one barb. You can't. It's just, it's just not worth it, right? Like... You could do so much. Like, yeah, right now, um, right now, Paragon's using the little minion trick to deal with it. Um, another thing you could have done, look at this builder's hut over here. You could have just dropped an archer and dropped one witch on this side. In fact, two, four, six, eight, ten. Well, maybe he did only use 12. No, he had to use some wizards too. What I would have done is use one barb, one archer way on this side of the base. As soon as the golem gets there, drop a witch. Obviously, before the archer dies, drop a witch. It's taken care of. You don't have to worry about it. And then, then at that point, you could have just went in right away. Instead of waiting for the golem, I don't know what would have taken more time. But anyhow, that's what I would have done. But you can do... That's what I'm saying. Is there's the, One bar lure, it's just not... It has to be five troop space, guys. Like That's my minimum. For you to get even some of my clan castle, you have to spend at least five troop space. That's that's the golden rule. But anyhow, everything in under these two heals, jump spell, poison down, hero defensive heroes are down already. Hogs are now in all over this base. Very very compact base. Uh, so not the best for Valks, but realistically, um, with the hog support coming in, there's just not enough room for traps in between. So you can really deploy your hogs very very. Um, well here knowing that you can drop them in certain spaces that you're not you just don't have to worry about traps i mean it does lose one to a spring trap but uh not the greatest spring trap against the wall there anyhow one more defense to go bunch of bunch of trash on the outside like I, the idea of this base i just i don't know the clan castle i didn't like but is that all the defenses are in the inside and he's got just so much trash packed around the outside but the problem with that is when you get hogs and valks into that it your defenses go down too quickly there's just not enough space in between them anyhow Tree in the bag for Paragon. Nice. All right. So I'm just going to show one more. Uh, like we, you know, Black Road, hats off to your Town Hall 9s overall. I mean, we uh, we sucked it up big time. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I think we used like five or six bullies. Uh, I want to say at least five bullies. But anyhow, I wanted to show this one. This is a bully on a uh, Town Hall 11, Max Town Hall 11 versus a Max Town Hall 10. Um, only reason I want to show this, I, was, I showed this in one other replay was we're just gonna pause this real fast was um anyone I, I just feel that a general public could really benefit from learning this bully attack um it seems to be very very powerful the idea is you're using bowlers you're using mi miners now same ideas right you got to create a funnel so what unique's going to do here creates a funnel down at the four o'clock Gets the bowlers going straight into the center of the base here just like you would valkyries say if you had mass valkyries but the bowlers attack through a range they hit two buildings at the same time at a distance not that are touching so the fact that all these buildings are so spaced out uh, i think going with the bowlers was a good choice over valkyries and then what he does to make sure the bowlers continue through the center of the base uses this section at the two o'clock to drop all his miners now the miners are great for to create these like sort of in base funnels because you know the miners aren't like hogs right they're not going to target the defenses so they go in and take out every building in their pathway so they're going to kind of funnel in and stay basically move from the two o'clock up to the 12 o'clock take out this whole compartment and what that does it keeps the bowlers moving in a straight direction across the core um and then everything kind of meets up in this section and just works down here and finishes the base off anyhow we'll watch this real quickly again it is a bully so nothing too too crazy i just feel that uh the general public could get a good idea because this will you don't necessarily need a max grand warden to make this work especially if you're not against a max town hall 10 um you know get get those max bowlers going get those max miners going um and this can be done with lower hero uh, heroes um 
But as you can see, it does have a couple bowlers walking. It doesn't matter. Gets most of them going in. So see what I mean? All these miners are now in from the 2 o'clock. So they're just going to smash all these buildings on the outside. Not going to make any of the bowlers kind of straight up at all. They're going to go down to this rage and force right down onto that Inferno Tower, which is exactly what they want. Still has that free spell. As soon as that expo locks on, boom, freeze is going to go down. Oh, gets the Tesla instead. I would have probably opted for the expo. Could have got all three there, I think, but no big deal, right? Miners doing their thing, gonna finish off that town hall and then continue to work down. And again, just kind of start forcing everything in a uh, uh, counterclockwise rotation. <clears throat> He's got healers in there still. Queen is it has to hit her ability in a moment. There it goes. Gonna rip through that wall. Finish off part of this base, right? Got the warden in there. Like just there's just too much left for this base. Absolutely, just smash this hit. Nice job, unique. These are what you these are what you need your 11s to be doing in war, right? Like your 11s ideally should be bullying these tens uh, and getting the three stars on the tens, and you should be getting the solid two stars with good percentage from your tens on their 11s, and then uh, right, and then just kind of go from there. Anyhow, uh, just wanted to show that one. Hope you guys uh, appreciate it. No offense to whoever that was. Sorry, Sam. Uh, I don't generally like showing bullies, but just thought a lot of people could gain some good knowledge from that kind of stuff. And that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser Guys. Just trying to help you bake that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.